A Fulton jail supervisor has addressed multiple acts of misconduct by staff members. And as Fox 5 has reported, some of the bad acts were so serious and risky, deputies as well as civilian staff were placed in danger. Fox 5's Morse Diggs has some new information in a live report for us now. Morse? We get a fresh perspective from a veteran, a female staffer inside the jail who has worked some of the most difficult locations, including the maximum security floor. From the absurd, like those restaurant steak dinners smuggled in by jail staff for inmates, to the salacious, one inmate being able to video his alleged encounter with a female officer, to the unbelievable danger a different officer took part in by opening a jail door and watching an attack take place, according to court documents. These acts and probably others that Fox 5 has yet to learn about have taken place inside the Fulton County Jail. The feeling of embarrassment and being upset behind someone else's actions is a big deal because we all wear this uniform. One of the jail supervisors discussed the recent misconduct, although the lieutenant cannot go into specifics on pending cases. I can understand the uneasiness that the community must feel, but I can reassure the uh, community members that those individuals don't represent the agency as a whole. The individuals who are compromised lack integrity. Fulton residents might be surprised to know women are in the majority here supervising male inmates are some afraid to be on the floor I will not agree with that I would say that the apprehension and sense of security is needed for both men and women um, I think that a male officer would feel just as the same amount of tension as a female officer would it's important to let the inmates know that we are not a reflection of what transpired. You know, they know this is not a secret, it's been on the news. Um, however, everyone can't be compromised. Now, observers have praised Sheriff Pat Labatt, saying he did the right thing by not only firing the wrongdoers, but making sure they are prosecuted. So what's going to happen going forward? Well, the inmates, a lot of them have plenty of cash inside the jail with enticements. For example, they will offer a deputy a couple of thousand dollars to bring in a cell phone. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, uh, Morse, thanks so much for looking into that.